Hi, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here. Whew, the internet's busiest music nerd, and you know who it is. And it's time for a weekly track roundup where I go over what I felt were the best and the worst tracks of the week. First off, I want to shout out our sponsor in this video, the good people over at the Ridge Wallet. They make these nifty metal plated minimalist wallets with a money clip that you sort of put all your cards in in a really convenient, compact way. Fits right in your front pocket. Way better than an old, disgusting, bulky leather wallet. Hit up the link down there in the description box. Use promo code FANTANO to get 10% off your first order. And of course, down there are also our Turntable Lab and Amazon associate links. Hit up those links, especially that Turntable Lab one. Get yourself a colorful pressing of a record I have covered on the channel. We get kickback from it. Helps the segment, helps the channel. And a few more shout outs. The Pains of Being Pure at Heart have done a peppy, in your face little Tom Petty cover that is linked down below along with all the other songs that I am talking about in this video. Be great if you checked that out. Also, uh, a John Prine cover of a Stevie Wonder track that is uh, pretty lovely. And there's a little live video of our boy Lewis Cole, who came out with a great little synth pop, synth funk record earlier this year. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a session in, I don't know if it's his place, a place, but there's a full band and he's playing on the stairs and he's playing drums and there's computers and loops and everything involved. It's, it's pretty incredible uh, how, uh, how much they're able to accomplish just totally on the fly. It's uh, actually quite amazing. All right, let's get into the tracks I thought were the worst ones this week, worst tracks this week. We got a handful. Uh, one PewDiePie has come out with a diss track against T-Series, which is quickly uh, overtaking his channel in terms of overall subs. Now, T-Series, if you didn't know, is a music channel out of India and features multiple uh, songs from solo artists uh, from, I guess, across the mainstream music spectrum over there. And uh, since they're kind of going to overtake his channel, most likely... Uh, in, in the coming days with the channel netting somewhere around like 2.5 billion views a month. Um, it seems like uh, Pewds is uh, uh, kind of dissing them uh, to, uh, I guess, cause some drama. But um, they're most likely not going to respond as they're just a random music channel. And the diss track isn't even really that good. It would have been funnier if Maybe his discs were a little bit more centric toward what the channel is about, but it's it's not really. It just kind of seems like him just get getting some views, just getting some views. Uh, next, Halsey has a new track out titled Without Me. It is a very bland and uneventful piece of electropop. It's a very dreary electropop ballad with uh, very little in the way of flavor. Uh, moving on from there, Greta Van Fleet, new song out titled Anthem. I, I know I've kind of ragged on the band before for sounding so much like Led Zeppelin, um, but at least on prior tracks, their emulation was at least somewhat accurate. This new song over here sounds horrendous. I mean, it's a ballad, an acoustic number, and the lead vocals are laughable. I, I do not get the appeal of... Uh, a track like this. I could sort of see up until this point, okay, if you're just nostalgic for the past and you want to hear something that sounds like something you've already heard before and you wish the good old days would come back, then maybe a band that sounds like exactly like uh, a group such as Led Zeppelin would appeal to you. But at this point, I feel like they're not even doing a good job at recreating the sound. Um, but whatever. Uh, let's move on to the tracks I was kind of met on. Was it wasn't blown away, but uh, I didn't think they were terrible either. Tom York has ended another track from the Suspiria soundtrack, which uh, Tom York had his fingerprints all over. Should be dropping soon. And this song sounds like a kind of weird, spacey, psychedelic, experimental vocal piece. It's it's not too bad. You know, if, if you enjoy the atmosphere of Radiohead's last record, you'll probably get into this, but there's not really that strong of a song behind it or anything. Uh, but it's it's got a cool vibe to it. Uh, Moonface, Spencer Krug's music project, has a new album on the way. This has been announced to be the project's final album, Walk in the Circle uh, Walk the Circle in the Other Direction is the name of this new track, and it is this long, multi-phase, spanning 
like piano art rock piece uh, with some pretty impassioned vocals from Spencer and uh, a great uh, bit of sax in the track in the last leg too, uh, which is a very nice touch. Um, felt a little indirect to me and, and I haven't been super crazy about a lot of Spencer's songwriting under the Moonface name, but it's, it's not bad. Kurt Vile has a somewhat underwhelming new number out from his latest full-length LP. I've been talking about it in uh, in these videos. I'm pretty excited for the new full-length album, even if this new track isn't as hard-hitting as, uh, as some of the other songs have been. It's a nice, easygoing piece of folk rock, you know, with uh, Kurt's usual quirky, lyrical style. Uh, Joji has a new song out, Can't Get Over You, Clams Casino, featured on this one. And, yeah, it's, it's all right. Um... It, the structure of the song is kind of weak. It's a bit of a short track. The vocals are recorded in kind of a funny, silly, lo-fi way, which which definitely adds personality. I could see this track being a nice little silly detour in, in the track listing. Uh, it certainly is, is cool to hear him taking things in a bit different, a bit rougher and uh, in weirder direction, but the song is, is not really that strong, which is kind of the unfortunate part to it. Uh, moving on from there, uh, Jesse Ware, Overtime, brand new single. Jesse pretty much sings her heart out over a nice pop house blend. Uh, not the best tune I've ever heard her on, but it uh, is, is a nice, bouncy, danceable little track. And Iron Reagan, crossover thrash act. Iron Reagan has a uh, moshing banger of a new track out titled The Devastation off of a brand new EP. And uh, g Easy miraculously has a pretty decent new track out. Endless Summer Freestyle with YG. Uh, like the beat, the beat has some crazy and uh, very fun off-the-wall samples laced within it. Uh, some of g Easy's one-liners are actually pretty clever and entertaining. Shows he has a bit of a playful side that he doesn't uh, uh, dole out on tracks all that often. And, uh, and YG is a nice touch on the track, too. So I actually uh, enjoy this uh, quite a bit. So shout out to g Easy. you know, uh, Still, it's it's Gerald, so it's a little corny, but uh, it's it's still not a bad cut. Seems like uh, he's he's on a bit of a roll since having uh, taken a dump on um, uh, <laughs> it's the Machine Gun Kelly. But uh, oh, and uh, Clams Casino teaming up with Pluto Nash for a new Adult Swim single, which is not too bad. It's titled Gravity. It's a detuned, like slow motion, very bassy experimental trap stuff. It's it's kind of cool. And uh, 6 9 has a new track out titled Stupid uh, with Bobby Schmurda featuring Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Schmurda. And uh, it's actually not that bad. I think it's kind of um, a little too short and there's not much of a structure to it. But 6 9s very brash and in-your-face delivery kind of makes up for that. The instrumental hits hard. And I actually like the way they incorporate Bobby into this track. Now, of course, since Bobby is in, is in prison, uh, they recorded his feature over the phone. Uh, but he has flow over the phone, and I feel like the track is very rough and abrasive and and kind of gritty. And I think the, the recording of the phone quality <laughs> vocal on the track actually works uh, in favor of the song quite a bit. So... I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. All right. Let's get into the tracks I thought were the best ones this week. Best tracks this week. Best ones. Quite a few. Remember, these are all linked down there in the description box for you to check them out. But bam uh, Swizz Beats. New track out featuring Young Thug. Much better than the track, he, uh, the, the single he had a little while. He had out, excuse me, a little while ago with Little Wayne. Uh, 25 Soldiers. And uh, really what makes this song is the Young Thug performance. Like Thugger's flow and his very intelligible lyrics on this track and his kind of deeper inflection on this cut is is certainly a, a refreshing change of pace for him. Swizz's delivery isn't too bad either. Um, I wouldn't say that the hook is all that strong on the track, but it works in a few different phases and it's kind of a dark, moodier cut, which I think um, is pulled off pretty well. Moving on from there, Sharon Van Etten, singer-songwriter Sharon Van Etten, Comeback Kid is the name of this new track over, she, uh, over here she has dropped. I feel like it's kind of a rite of passage for indie singer-songwriters. If you are going to, I guess, uh, keep doing the whole singer-songwriter thing, 
there's going to eventually come a time where you have to like start writing synth pop or something, or you have to start incorporating electronics into your repertoire. And that's kind of the thing with this new track over here. It's punchier. It's more straightforward. There are synths in it. But I like the fact that Sharon has not lost her kind of rough and very organic edge that I typically enjoy on a lot of her recordings. So uh, Sharon definitely coming through with one of the catchier songs she's ever recorded. Um, but Again, remember, it's it's a bit of an instrumental change of pace, which I think is, is pulled off well. Uh, moving on from there, b -b 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 banger alert from Little Pump and Little Uzi Vert, multi-millionaire. It's a silly, dumb, ridiculous, over-the-top trap banger. Don't expect it to be deep. It's just kind of a fun listen. Uh, moving on from there, Rock Marciano and DJ Muggs have a new project out Shit I'm On is the name of this new track, and I'm absolutely in love with the cycling, soulful, very serene instrumental that Muggs pulls together on this track. Rock, Mar Rock Marciano compliments it beautifully, and um, of course Marcy is delivering in his usual subdued rap style, uh, so it's, it's a very thoughtful, low-key, cerebral hip-hop cut. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind, and uh, double entendres galore. Uh, Jaden Smith, Goku, new banger from Jaden. It's kooky, it's weird, it's in your face. It's got a bit of an EDM breakdown too, uh, but I actually think it's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It's not deep, but it's fun. Uh, moving on from there, High on Fire have a new Adult Swim single out, new album I'm going to be covering this week. The name of this new track over here is Spewn from the Earth. Give it a listen if you are into heavy, badass Kick in your face, Sludge Metal. Holy Ghost have a brand new track out, synth pop outfit. Holy Ghost Anxious is the name of the cut. It's a bit of a synth pop, electro pop throwback uh, to the 80s, and it's uh, quite nice wondering when Holy Ghost are going to come back with a brand new record because I feel like uh, we need that. We need that in our, in, in our, in our lives. Uh, Courtney Barnett, Small Talk is the name of her new track. And this new tra uh, track, this new cut over here uh, is going to be released on a compilation from Mom and Pop Records celebrating uh, the, uh, the, the label's founding. So uh, this new song will be featured on the compilation. And uh, it's a nice little fun track, literally about small talk. And uh, Courtney kind of goes over that topic in a very clever and somewhat cheeky way. It's, it's cute. And uh, Clarence Clarity, shout out to Clarence Clarity. He has a new track out that I would love to point you guys to down below. It is titled Adam and the Evil. I'm not going to go over it too much because he does have a new album out, which I will be covering this week at some point. And uh, Charlie XCX and Troy Savant have teamed up on a brand new track titled 1999. It is a great electropop tune, literally about the nostalgia of 1999 and wanting to take it back to 1999 which is why both of them are dressed like they're lost in the matrix uh, in this, in this album cover. Uh, but they pull it off. Well, I, I have, I wasn't too crazy about Troy's new full length album uh, album, but I think they, uh, they complement each other well on this new track over here. Uh, Behemoth have a new track out, which is actually surprisingly melodic and harmonious. I could see this definitely being a, um, a powerful moment, a powerful, somewhat more low key moment on their, uh, uh, new full-length album, Bart Sibel, is the name of the track. I'm not going to go too deep into it, as I do plan to cover the band's new album this week on the main channel. And Anderson Pack, Kendrick Lamar did a little track review of this track on the Fantano channel. Awesome piece of synth funk on this cut. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's groovy. It's exuberant. It's charismatic, loaded with swagger. Instrumental is top-notch. Anderson Pack is wonderful, and Kendrick Lamar... Uh, definitely lends a lot to the charisma of the song, too. And ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for the weekly track roundup, a pretty tight 14-minute weekly track roundup on y'all. Remember, Ridge Wallet, they are our sponsor in this video. Hit up yours below, or get yours below via the, uh, <laughs> the link down there. <laughs> and then they will continue to support the channel and support this segment. Remember to hit up all the tracks I linked you to down there below if they did interest you based off of my descriptions and i will catch you guys in the next video love you love you love you love you love you anthony fantano weekly track roundup forever